we have created this simple admin panel now we are going to see how to insert categories okay basically as of now we are not going to insert the categories inside the database first we are going to create the layout of that one okay like this whenever i click on this insert categories i should be getting this form and inside that we are having this button now whenever i insert the categories later on we are going to write the php code whenever i write something here this data should be inserted inside the database now once the data is inserted inside the database and inside this categories that data should be dynamically updated here okay now first we are just going to create this form and we will see whenever we click on this button how to get this one okay now you can see this is present inside index.php file itself and here we are having one get variable that is nothing but insert category now here i am having that button insert categories inside href let me just create one file i'll just write here insert categories insert categories.php i'll just create this file now i'll just copy this inside admin area folder i'm just going to create that file now inside this file okay let me just create the form simple form okay action i'm not going to give anything method i'll be giving here post and also i'm just going to give some margin for this so i'll just create the class and here i'll be giving margin bottom of 2 okay now inside this form okay now inside this file if you notice here i have not added any bootstrap css link so i'll be getting the basic form now here what i am going to do is i'm just going to create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as input group okay this is the bootstrap class now we are going to create input field so we are just wrapping that input field inside this div container so i'm just giving the class as input group now inside this first let me just write here span tag okay for better understanding let me just come to bootstrap website from there i'll be telling you how to copy the code i'll just click on get started i'll be writing here input input group now here you can see the first one is having this symbol and here i'm having this input field now from here i'm just going to copy this entire code and instead of this i'm just going to paste that one okay even you can do instead of typing this entire thing you can just copy the code and you can paste that one now i'll just save this file now here i'm just going to come to admin panel i'll just refresh this now when i click on insert categories you can see i'm redirected to insert categories.php file and here i'm having this particular input field and at symbol okay now whatever classes we are having here that is not been applied because here inside this file i have not linked bootstrap file i have not linked because we are going to perform all the actions in the index.php file itself okay we are not going to come inside this insert categories.php directly we are going to perform inside index.php and inside index.php we have already linked this bootstrap css link so again we don't have to link inside this insert categories now in place of this at symbol i just want the icon so here i'm just going to write that one i'll be writing here i for this i'll just give the class as fa solid and also i'm just going to give fa receipt i'll save this now let me just come here now if i refresh this one okay now i am not having the icon as well because i am not having font awesome as well now inside index.php i have not linked font awesome so here i'll be writing font awesome font awesome link and from root index.php i'm just going to copy that link i'll just come here and from here i'm just going to copy this link and below this i'm just going to paste that one now inside insert categories here i'm having form action is empty method is equal to post and i have just given margin bottom of 2 then we are having this diff container for this diff container let me just give the width width i'll be giving 90 and also we are having margin bottom let me just decrease that one then inside this span we are just having this particular icon okay this particular icon i have just given and for this i'm just going to give bg info because in my project for this icon i am having the background color as this one okay blue color then finally below this we are having input field type is text we should be giving this class is equal to form control only then it will be applied okay the bootstrap class will be applied 
then for this one we are going to give name attribute okay this name attribute is very important because we are working in php and whatever value we are having here using post method we are going to access the values from the input field so here i'm just going to write here cat title then placeholder i'm just going to write here i'll instead of this i'll be writing here insert categories then area label if you want you can keep or else you can just remove that one now below this let me just copy the same diff from here and here i'm just going to paste that one now i'll just remove this instead of with 90 i'm just going to give here with 10 okay because here i have already given 90 so here i'm just going to give with the 10 and also i'll be giving margin bottom of 2 now in place of this let me just remove that i'll be creating input field let me just remove this span and here i am having type let me just write here submit for this we are having all these things and here i am just going to write here insert cat okay that is nothing but insert categories then next placeholder i am just going to remove instead of that i'll be writing here value inside this i am just going to write here insert categories and also we are having all these things i'm just going to give the class class i'll be giving bg info i'll save this i'll just refresh this one let me just come to my project i'll refresh this now whenever i click on this admin whenever i click on this insert categories i'm having this button as well now this particular action whenever i click on this insert categories it should be coming here okay inside this blank section i should be getting that form this entire code we have written inside insert categories.php now what i am going to do is inside index.php now for this instead of giving insert categories directly i'm just going to give index.php i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one now whenever i click on insert categories i am redirected to index.php okay i'm not going to insert categories.php file now here i'm just going to write one question mark and here i'll be writing insert category okay this is called as get variable i'll save this one now again let me just come back i'll refresh this now when i click on insert categories you can see after question mark i am having this insert category variable okay this is nothing but this is get variable now this we can access using get method and also we can check that one if this variable is set i just want to include that insert categories page now how to include now what i am going to do is now below this one okay below this entire diff container okay this is the first child this is the second child of this diff container okay this is ending here and this is the okay this is the third child now below this i'm just going to write the comment i'll just write here fourth child now below this i'm just going to create one diff and for this diff i'll just give the class as container now inside this i'll be writing here if is set okay before that we have to write the php syntax here i'm just going to write this php syntax now inside this i'm just going to write here if is set i'll be writing here get variable and inside this get variable i have to access this get variable okay whatever variable we have created for insert categories i'm just going to copy this one and here i'll be pasting that one i'm just telling that if this particular get variable is active only then i have to include that file now here i'm just going to include the file include my file name is insert categories dot php insert categories dot php i'll save this now from here i'm just going to remove this one i'll refresh this now you can see inside url i don't have anything now when i click on insert categories you can see here i am getting this output okay this is the input field and this is the button now for this input field and button you can see bootstrap classes whatever i have given that is been applied now we are just going to do some of the changes here now let me just come to index.php now for this diff container let me just give some margin margin y of 5 i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now here i'm having some spacing now we are just going to style the button i'll just come to insert categories now uh, okay let me just remove this one instead of this here i'll be giving bg info i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now the background color is been changed 
from here let me just remove all these things I do not want this for button I will just refresh this one okay, now again I am having this now for this let me just write here margin to be auto now basically this is the input field it is taking complete 100 percent now what I am going to do is as of now I am just going to change it to button ok later on we are going to see how to do that I will just write here button and inside this I am just going to give here insert categories I will just copy this one and here I am just going to paste that and also for that I am just going to give this class I will just copy this one and inside this I am just going to paste from here I will be removing this and I am just going to keep bg info I will save this I will refresh this one now here I am having this button now for this button I am just going to give some padding padding on x ok only on left and right side I am just going to give and also I do not need any border so I am just going to give border 0 I will refresh this ok now here I am having this output let me just give padding on all the four sides I will just remove this x now I will refresh this one ok now here I am having this button ok you can give whatever values you want ok based on your requirement you can give now let me just give margin as well now for this button let me just give margin as well margin y let me just write here 3 I will save this I will refresh this one now here I am having this now here you can see margin is been added on all the four sides now here I will just write here wife ok wife means only top and bottom it will be added left and right it will not be added and it will be aligned properly now let me just come to index.php file of admin now when I click on insert categories you can see here I am having this proper output ok this is how we are going to work this is the insert categories you can see we have just created the simple file insert categories and inside that we have just written the basic code once it is set we are just checking the condition if it is set only then we have to include that file or else we should not include that file now again if I just come to view categories you can see this is active so I am having this one again when I click on insert brands this is active ok we are going to see how to fix that one whenever we click on the button only that particular section should be active ok now here I have just included this insert categories dot php ok in the same way we are just going to do for brands now here I will be creating insert brands dot php and from insert categories I am just going to copy the entire code and here I am just going to paste now instead of this let me just change the username here I will just write here brands and here also I am just going to write here brands ok sorry I am just going to write here categories now inside this everything will be same instead of insert categories I am just going to write here insert brands and here also I am just going to change to insert brands ok rest everything will be same I will just copy the path and here I am just going to paste that path I will just remove this one instead of this I will be writing here localhost ok now you can see here I am having insert brands and insert categories in the same way we are just going to create get variable for that inside this insert brands for href I will be giving the same file index.php this should be performed in the same file and here I will be writing the get variable insert brand now again I am just going to check the same condition I will just copy this one and below this I am just going to paste now instead of this insert category I am just going to copy this insert brand and here I will be pasting that one and instead of insert categories I will be writing here insert brands I will save this now let me just come to admin panel I will refresh this one I will just remove this get variable from here now when I click on insert categories you can see here I am having insert categories now when I click on insert brands you can see here I am having insert brands and insert brands button ok this is how we are going to work with get variables using get variables we can access that particular section and we can include that section inside our index page ok now we are done with this we are done with this input field we have seen how to include that one we have seen how to check for this condition ok basic code we have written using get method we are just accessing this get variable if this get variable is active only then we are including this particular files and inside insert categories and insert brands we have just written the basic code ok this is the basic code we have written we have just created the form input field and one button now next we are going to see how to create database for categories and brands 
we will see how to connect to the database and then finally we will start inserting the data inside the database.